Today, we're at the San Bernardino International Airport in Southern California. Where I'm excited to share a story of how GIS can be applied in a pretty unique way. A few months ago, the airport began construction on a new air cargo facility, which will help support the area's growing population. It's critical to keep stakeholders at the airport informed on construction progress in near real time. We can use a drone to do this using SiteScan for ArcGIS. When construction started, myself and several other colleagues came out to the airport to fly a drone over the construction area. Once we got out to the construction site, we got ready to fly the drone. We had three simple pieces of equipment with us. We had the drone, the drone's controller, and an iPad with site scan for ArcGIS. Before the drone can take off, the first step was to develop the flight plan on the site scan app. Site scan makes it easy to develop these plans on the fly. Here, I select the flight plans widget and choose area survey. Site scan for ArcGIS automatically connects to ArcGIS Online, accessing web maps and layers for reference. Bringing in the construction perimeter, we'll now start crafting the plan. Very simply, we drag the vertices of the plan over the area of interest. The flight path is automatically generated and the taskbar at the bottom of the screen dynamically updates. Here, we can see if we fly at 200 feet, how long the flight will take, the flight's pixel resolution, and an estimated amount of batteries. SightScan also allows the pilot to interactively explore different flight options. For example, setting the flight altitude to 400 feet, the flight time is cut in half, pixel resolution remains high, and the battery needs are dramatically reduced. But because we're at an airport, we have to fly significantly lower, so we'll stick to 200 feet. With the flight plan all ready to go, the drone goes through its pre-flight checklist and then takes off. It follows the flight path and captures images over the area specified. It was really exciting to watch the drone take off for the first time and come in for its landing. From here, the next step was to process the imagery in the cloud. Opening the site scan manager in a browser, we simply added the collected images to an existing project at the airport. To begin processing, we simply drag and drop photos from the drone's SD card into the uploader. The images are processed automatically and can be shared directly to my ArcGIS Online organization, harnessing the power of the cloud. Let's take a look at process results that were captured in our first drone flight at the airport. Over to our construction site, we can see activity that was removing an unneeded part of the taxiway. SightScan also produced 3D information, including a digital train model and digital surface model. Bringing this data into a web scene, we can use measurement tools to analyze it. And flying back down to our construction site, we'll use a before and after digital train model to measure volume change over the most recent construction area. Dropping in just a few points, construction progress is calculated. About 24,000 cubic meters have been graded.